welcome to my reciting of my poem, The Ghost House, which is a tribute to the beautiful Ockels in Clipmanninshire. If you see me looking like that, it's because I can see them from my window and they're shrouded in mist and it's all mysterious. So I apologise. I have to use paper. It's only my second poem. There's absolutely no way I could recite it without paper. So please forgive me. I'm just new to this. Thank you. Ghost Hills, in awe of the Ockels. <clears throat> For centuries they have inspired the locals, the beautiful, magical Ghost Hills. Her ancestors roamed there a long, long time ago, hunted deer, sheltered from storm, and hid from many a foe. The picks and the gales, freedom fighters as well, Oh, if only we knew what stories they could tell. Of battles hard fought and won, of Scottish soldiers who camped there, our heroes, everyone. In all of the Ockels, the beautiful greenest ghost hills, Wallace based his army here and spied upon stubborn town, plotting when best to bring his warriors down. I swear, on a dark winter's night, the Ockles echoes cries of freedom of brave men running to the fight. In the midst of summer and blooming purple heather, I imagine Jacobites being cleansed in good Scottish weather. In love with the Ockles, unchanged since time began, I look at them in wonder and awe and admire the view our ancestors saw. I'm sure on a cool autumn's evening I can hear birds tweet chords from your era, used as you navigated strange landscapes, often in fear and terror. In the greenest of spring, what a wonderful sight. I oft remember the pagans who worshipped in your glens at night. In all of the Ockels, the most beautiful, greenest, mystical, magical ghost hills. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed writing it and reciting it. Thank you.